There's no explosion. It just falls down on his back like, I'm sorry, Master. All right, so it's going to be interesting. I, I, a red team, the archetypes of characters that we're seeing are, you know, combo intensive characters. But on the blue team, we're seeing, you know, they're going for the hurting bombs. They're going for yeah. pop. Game and watch it with some pop. And of course, Ganondorf using it, pulling out his sword now and just destroying worlds. So. Yeah, Sakurai actually uh, uh, listened to people uh, talking about Ganondorf's sword. Like, uh, let him use it. Uh, he said, here you go. Here's like everything you would want with a sword, probably. And it hurts. Like, it quite literally hurts. Yeah, yeah. so much damage, so much power. But let's, let's see what they're able to make of it. Red team got their combos going. They opened up the blue team a little bit. Oh, wow, J-Tail's actually saving, uh, is that? Yeah, that's Waker. Oh, Woker uh, on Ganondorf there. Yeah, definitely a uh, uh, blue team able to draw first blood. And, you know, it's, let's see what's able to come in. <laughs> Double down air right wait, there. Wait, what bounce? What bounce Ganondorf down into <laughs> and then back up into the down air? Like, I didn't know what hit him. Because all I saw, he bounced and then he got hit into a down air. Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, I don't. I think Walker didn't even know what hit him either. So that is a fair point. And as we're seeing right here, they're having a hard time getting in on these two characters because the thing about Ness and Mario is that they can weave in and out. Yeah. They can support each other with projectiles and whatnot. And oh my God, that was an untechable splat. That was. It was a good trade, though. It was a good trade for Walker. Yeah. Because he was at like what 150. Yeah, and you know, able to take away the Ness stock. So yeah. at the very least, a clean trade, not a not a negative for their team. And they're coming in right now with a slight lead. Slight, slight lead. Very slight, uh, but that lead could go away any second now. If he throws out an F smash, I'm not sure if that was a uh, misinputted F tilt there. Uh -huh. But uh, gets hit by the down smash from uh, Torque Master there. He has to make sure that this Ness isn't, uh, isn't setting up. Right. And he was doing that really well, but JTELS was just crushing him into a shield, allowing him to back up, get him back into center stage. And he's able to fire right out of the uh, PK fire right there. Yeah. So that's going to be, you know, I'm, we're just watching some of the options disappear, you know, as far as JTELS goes. Because I wonder if uh, Game & Watch is just down here straight through the PK Thunder and not, not even have to worry. It might not be a huge factor against this specific character. I think Torque Master did it in the, in the beginning of the match, but uh, it didn't seem to have worked. Like, it slowed him down, but it didn't make the PK Thunder disappear, I believe. All right, just pummeling, trying to get a uh, a grab armor out, but he wasn't able to in time, and Torque Master losing his stock, trying to save uh, Wolf. Yeah, good, good forward smash read there from Zenyu. There's a lot of disruption, able to capitalize on just a little bit of a misplay. And fourth are going to send him off stage. Very good call from j -Tails, just getting him out off stage as quickly as possible. And the Nair out of shield, that is actually, those are actually really good options now. If your character has a good Nair and your shield's being pressured, Nair, Nair out of shield. Get it, get out of there. Yeah, it's the, uh, the get out of jail card. Unless you're a Game & Watch, then you can uh, fire with up B out of shield, yes. another quick option as well. Ooh, forward air, going to send j to the other side, but wasn't really worth it getting hit by the up smash from Zenyu there. Zenyu very vigilant about not getting hit by this Ganondorf. Uh, now we're oh. in trouble. There's a 2v1 with Ganondorf, and, you know, even seeing this. And they got the stock lead, too. So after a brief initial scare Ooh. for the uh, red team, they're in a very comfortable position now coming into the end of game one. Yeah, and you got to remember, he, uh, Walker cannot uh, depend on killing someone on their last stock with Ganon's side now because Ganon does die first. They could also mash out again inside. Yeah. side. And uh, it, it's just absolutely negative for Ganon now. Right. Unless you're a stock up. Right. But, but yeah, 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 they cancel that. So. And then go ahead. But uh, <laughs> that is not the case. Double fire going to send him off onto the left True side. True combos right there. Cleaning out. Just absolutely clean game. Um, yeah, let's see what uh, Woker and uh, Torque Master are able to adapt with. Yeah, that's going to be the interesting part because if you're J Tails and Zenyu, the ship's going to be smelling, you know, super smoothly for a long time. But just by the nature of the characters that Woker and uh, uh, Torque Master are playing, when the hits come, <laughs> it's going to hurt. They come. It's, and those stocks are going to start flying off, and what might be like a you know pretty sizable lead could disappear in a second. So oh, yeah. let's see what adjustments they make uh, coming into game two. Going through that stage selection, that's a uh, you know. Nice thing, we're gonna, they'll figure out what stages they're going to. I'm not sure what the ban would be if I were. They're hovering over Yoshi's. Um, Game Watch does have some stuff there, but uh -huh. I know I know for a fact that they're not gonna be opting for that because it's it's frame perfect stuff. Uh -huh. um, and also, it, it gives 
uh, Mario access to wall jumps. Right. So I don't think, uh, if they're factoring that in, I don't think they want to give that to Zenyu because it gives them an extra recovery option there. Pick ended up being Smashville, which yeah. is about as close to uh, Yoshi's Island as you can get without the yeah. wall jumps and without the janky tilts and stuff like that. So. And again, I want to see Woker and, uh, and Torque Master control the stage a little bit more, control the air a little bit uh, as their characters. Oh, if Woker goes Fox, Fox coming okay. out. I was going to say, if they stay at the characters that they were before, they wouldn't be able to chase down Ness and Mario like they couldn't last right. game. Uh, because Mario and Ness weave around a lot. But now that we have Fox on the stage, it kind of evens things up. He, weaves, uh, uh, he has a better weave game than uh, Ness and Mario. Yeah, opinion. subtracting a little bit of that uh, pop that they had from on the offensive side. Giving a little more mobility on the defensive side, or even able to cover like you know combo situations. Yes. So I, I definitely agree, just based off how that match went in the last game, for uh, Woker to make the change. I gonna go with a back throw there, trying to hit uh, Woker with the back throw hitbox. I'm not gonna be able to get it. He does get punished. He's trying to come back and uh, and help out. Uh, Jay tells, but he's still off stage. Woker doing really well with his ledge trapping here. We are going to keep Zenyu off. Nice parry, not going to be able to follow up after it. And Torque Master did a really good job there, holding JTails out of the game yes. and just putting a wall up and not, you know, letting, uh, you know, letting Woker kind of go to work. Uh, Chef's good. out right now and all set up. Good right, down oh. smash. Oh, that, that that looks like it hurts now. Yeah, some pop. It, <laughs> it actually, it looks like it actually breaks the hammer. All right, forward air, you're gonna come out. No, nobody gonna hit, get hit by the explosion. Uppy just for stage control, and he low profiles the forward smash. <laughs> I've never seen that. I think it was Miss Space where he low profiled, and he's just barely gonna miss the up smash angle there. But of course, uh, JTL is able to close out that stock. So we're even up on stocks. Uh, pretty close game so far. Zenyu, clean pickup on the up smash, and Walker's uh, first stock goes down as well. Yeah, very nice. Going to get him on his uh, invincibility with the grab there. And not allowing uh, Zenyu to continue outwards with an air. All right, JTels gets his first PK Thunder. Yeah, trying to get set up. Uh, not of the set, but of this game. Yeah. Back throw. Just going to try to help out Zenyu in center stage here. Very nice. But up the out of shield, going to bring Torque Master out of that situation. I almost got that down air to kill, too. That, that would have been crazy. Yeah. Air out of shield once more and missing the down smash again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Torque Master, you see him. He's not actually going for the grab situations. He's going for the shield drop reads in those yes. situations. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. Uh, we're seeing Woker here just keeping with the up air trains, just keeping Zenyu above him, but JTL's covering Zenyu with the back air. Oh, watch the forward smash. Watch oh, your watch your stock. That was actually a really scary, like, upbeat from Walker there. Right. I thought he wouldn't have made that. It was very close. Uh, <laughs> and he had to work, he had to contend with the possible yeah. Trump situation, too. Just bad situation after bad situation. Yeah, and that's just the life of Fox, but right there, we're going to be seeing that down air going to take that stock on JTails, and back they're going to take that. Blue team in a little bit of trouble. Torque Master barely hanging on to a second stock. And, you know, red team sitting, sitting pretty with about a stock lead. All right, going to go with the Nair on the shield. Nice dare out of shield, too, from Zenyu there. Zenyu going to hold that shield once more for the back air. Oh, uh, Walker's hating his life a little bit, getting ping pong back and forth. Yeah, I like what Zenyu's... J-Tail. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I was going to say, like, I like what Zenyu's doing. He's putting his body in between uh, J-Tails and the opponents. Uh -huh. So that J-Tails has a way of coming back without being dim. Because... Ness is actually one of the characters that uh, can get gimped pretty uh, pretty quickly yeah. by both uh, Fox and uh, Game Watch. Now we're down to that 2v1 red team with the stock lead. A little I, bit of trouble. Fox, ooh. not quite enough on that up smash. I, I like how he noticed that JTails was going for another PK Thunder and just uh, just ran off the platform. Yeah. Like, I don't have to deal with Zenyu. <laughs> Let me try to kill JTails, get rid of that uh, extra stock that they don't need. Uh, didn't kill, but that was really good awareness from uh, a worker. Yeah. Desperately trying to claw their way back in. You know, this is, might be the uh, end of the fairy tale run. Another PK Thunder gun. Oh, wow. He actually beats it out this time with, with a neutral, uh, landing neutral air back here. Yeah, one of the aerials. I think we'll start seeing that more, right? People just, they're going to have to do something different to get away from PK yeah. Thunder. <laughs> PK Thunder is uh, 
really dangerous. It was already dangerous in Smash 4, but it's more dangerous now. And if that if that uh, PK Thunder actually hit him on the sweet spot, that was a dead box. No. Watch that shield. Volker going off to the side. He has to recover. This gets is it. Wow. He's Not still quite. Wow. Why is he alive? <laughs> Not going out without a fight. Okay, high key. I thought that jab was gonna kill him. Oh, he got he buffered an air dodge. Trying to he tried to protect the the, the yo yo throw right. Yeah, yo -yo I, hit. I respect that. Too. Yeah. Like yeah, just getting ready for the tech situation there, just making sure that he doesn't die by something he could have prevented, but instead put him back, put himself into a bad situation. And uh, is it is it Zenyu? The Zenyu's J Tails Gauntlet still. It's looking like the Zenyu J Tails Gauntlet still. So if you guys are fans of Zenyu or fans of J Tails, then stick around because they're sticking around. Yeah, boy, <laughs> do we have a few sets for you. <laughs> Until Champ decides that uh, you guys have had enough, you're sticking with them. So, I hope you like PK Thunders. I hope you like 